Okay, welcome to a morning rise and shine little yoga routine for you to enjoy in the morning. Maybe while you're waiting for your coffee to brew or your water to heat up or your tea. Just a quick little thing to get the blood going, boost your mood, and feel a little bit better. <laughs> Bring some sunshine to your morning. So, start in tabletop position. Wrists under your shoulders, knees under your hips, and your feet are activated. Flex behind you, toes pressing into the mat. And we're gonna warm up the spine with some cat and cow. So on an inhale, drop your belly, point your tailbone towards the ceiling or sky, and begin to look up, draw your chest between your shoulders towards the front of your mat. Inhale, look up. Exhale, begin to rotate your tailbone so it points down. Press away from the mat and dome out your back body, breathing in to the back of your heart space into your cat pose. Inhale, begin to rotate your tailbone towards the ceiling. Look up. Exhale, tailbone down, press away. As you inhale, feel your shoulder blades just spread open. One more time, inhale into cow pose. Exhale into cat pose. <laughs> There's the kitty cat right now. <laughs> Hi Riley. And then come to neutral spine. I'm just doing hip circles really quick. So pick either side. Let's do five on each side. Two, three, Get really juicy with it. Four, five, switch sides. One, two, three, four, remember to breathe, five. Okay, we're back to center now quick little warm up for our core and get our balance going. So fire up your core, point your tailbone directly behind you, lower abdominals engaged with your belly button drawing towards the spine, neck long. On an inhale, lift your back foot behind you, keep it flexed, toes pointing down, and your left arm forward. <laughs> Riley, get away. <laughs> get away from that. Reach your left arm forward and keep your hand about shoulder height. Reach behind you and in front of you at the same time. Exhale, release. Come back to tabletop. Inhale, reach your left leg back behind you. Right arm forward, thumb facing up, toes pointing down. Breathe. Exhale, release from there. And then Come up to a upright position with your knees down. Bring your right leg out beside you. So move the mic over. I'm trying something new where I explain it as I'm teaching it. <laughs> Riley really wants to rub her face on the mic. Okay, bring your right leg out, sole of your foot on the mat, tailbone pointing down. Inhale, reach your arms to the sky. Exhale, side bend to your right. Stay in line with your leg. Hips are squared off, hip bones facing forward. Reach up towards the sky and then bend over to the right. On your inhale, spine lengthen the spine and then exhale, allow your skin to melt over the bones. Inhale, rise back up to center. Exhale, bring your left arm to the ground underneath your shoulder. Rotate the eye of your inner elbow towards the back of the mat. So put an external rotation on your shoulder, putting it into the socket, and reach your right arm up to the sky. 
you want extra challenge here, lift your right leg about shoulder height, keep your foot flexed, and then you can reach your right arm towards the back of your mat. Breathe. Release from there. Place your back foot to the mat. Reach one more time towards the ceiling. And then exhale. Bring your hands out in front of you. We're going to do a little puppy pose with our leg out. So try to find a little arch in your lower back with your tailbone pointing up. Forehead to the ground. Press your hips back behind you and find length in your spine. On an inhale, rise up from there, walking your hands back, reaching up one more towards the sky. Exhale, return your right foot underneath you. Inhale, bring your left foot out to the side, hands to the sky. Exhale, bend to the left. And if you like, you can look up as well. A couple breaths here. Breathe into your side body. As you inhale, feel your ribs expand and separate. Exhale, bend a little further. Inhale, rise back up. Exhale, place your right hand underneath your right shoulder. Remember to externally rotate your shoulder. Press into the mat, open up your collarbones, reach towards the sky. And if you lifted your leg on the other side, do it again here. Smile. Exhale, release from there. Place your back foot to the mat. Inhale, reach up towards the sky. Exhale, palms down to the ground. Walk them out in front of you. And lower your chest and forehead towards the ground. Try to point your tailbone up towards the ceiling. Find space in your side bodies. Lengthen your waistline. Inhale, walk your hands back to meet your knees. Exhale here. Inhale, rise up. Hands towards the sky, reach. Exhale, draw your left knee back underneath you. And that your kitty cat that's probably underneath you. Now, return back to tabletop. Prepare your hands for downward dog, so your index fingers are going to be parallel to each other. Press your thumb and index finger pad into the mat. Wrist lines are parallel. Sorry, my cat is distracting me. <laughs> Press back into downward dog. Now this is probably your first downward dog of the day. So take some time to pedal your feet out. Maybe bend your right leg, look up your left shoulder. Switch sides, bend your right knee, look up through your right shoulder. Do this a couple times when you warm up your hamstrings. Whenever I wake up, they are super sore. It's like I never stretch them at all. Maybe bend both knees, lower down, straighten them. I like to go on my tippy toes, rotate both knees to the right. Find, oh, a nice stretch in your shoulder and side body. Bend your knees, maybe if you want to get deeper. <laughs> and come back to center on your tippy toes. Exhale, bring them to the left. Press into the mat to reach, to get an even deeper stretch. Bend your knees a little, more deep. Whatever feels best for you. Inhale, straighten your Straighten your feet out and press your heels into the mat. Remember, your heels do not need to touch. The important factor with downward dog is you're getting length in your spine. So point your tailbone towards the sky. If you've got to bend your legs, legs <laughs> you have to bend your knees a little bit to get there. That's fine. Okay. Now, inhale, look forward. Exhale, step or hop to the front of your mat. I'm going to step so I don't hurt my cat. Inhale, come up halfway with a flat back. Draw your crown of your head out in front of you, towards the front of your mat. 
And then exhale, find length in your spine as you release your crown towards your toes. And grab your elbows and get a little shoulder stretch here. Bend your knees if you want more release in your lower back. Inhale, half lift one more time. Bring your hands to your hips, point your elbows up towards the sky. And inhale, rise up with a flat back. Bring your hands to the side, Tadasana pose. So, tailbone pointing down. Isometrically draw your thighs together. Strengthen your legs, activate your quadriceps. Reach down towards the ground with your fingertips. That's going to draw your shoulders down your spine and your collarbones apart. Bring your chest up towards the ceiling. And now inhale, bring your arms up, keeping your shoulders in the socket. Exhale, do a slight little forward fold, a little bow to yourself. And then inhale like the rising sun, spread your fingers wide. Reach up and move you a little bit behind you for a little mini back bend. It's like your heart is sending out rays of sunshine up above you. And then exhale, clasp your hands together behind your sacrum, bend your knees, and fold forward. Couple breaths here. Inhale slowly, release your hand without rubber banding. Bend your knees, sit back into an invisible chair, and sit down into your yogi chair pose. Lift your toes up. It'll put a little more weight to your heels. Make sure the weight is actually evenly distributed in all four corners of your feet. You can have your arms up or straight out in front of you. Shoulders in the sockets. Chest arching up <laughs> in the head of you. Tailbone pointing down. Drawing your belly button towards the spine. When you look down, you should be able to see your toes still. Exhale, release into a forward fold. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale, bring your hands to the mat, step your right foot back behind you. So now you're in your lower lunge. If uh, you want a little bit more availability to balance here, you can move your right foot so it's in line with like the, or sorry, <laughs> rewind. Uh, if you want a little more availability for balance when you rise up into crescent, just inch or scooch your left foot a little more so it's lined up with your left shoulder. Your back foot is active like you're in a stiletto. Inhale, bring your hands back to your hips. Scissor your legs together, root down into the ground. Exhale here. Inhale, rise up into your crescent pose. Doing the same activation before. Heart drawing up towards the ceiling. Tailbone pointing down. You're very strong. You're rooting down with your legs while rising up from your center. Arms up. Fingers spread and active like rays of sunshine. One more breath here. Exhale, fold. Inhale, step back into plank. Now, my shoulder's injured, so I'm gonna lower myself down on my knees. You can chaturanga as normal. Lower down to your belly. Lift each foot and lengthen each leg as you press your toes down into the mat. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, lower. Inhale, press back into downward dog. Oh. <laughs> All right. Inhale, lift your right leg towards the sky. Exhale, draw your knee to your nose and place your right foot between your hands. Again, adjust as needed for balance. Inhale, scissor your legs together. Bring your hands back by your hips. Exhale. Inhale, rise up again into your crescent pose. Remember, tailbone pointing down. Draw your lower belly towards the spine. Chest rising up towards the sky. Reach by lengthening your side body. One more breath. Exhale, release, back down to the mat, step back into plank, and lower to the mat. Stretch out each leg, 
toes down into the mat, inhale into cobra, drawing chest up, chin parallel to the ground, pressing your pubic bone into the mat, glutes are relaxed, lower abdominals drawing into the spine, exhale release, press back into downward dog. Inhale, look forward, exhale, step or hop to the front of your mat, inhale, half lift, exhale, forward fold, couple breaths here, I'm standing on my hands, bring the tops of your hands, press them into the mat and lift your toes and stand on to the palms of your hands. This should feel really good for your wrists, especially if you use a computer or if you rock climb. A multitude of things. Lift your toes back up. Press into the mat. Lift up halfway. Exhale, release. Inhale, reverse swan dive. Reach up towards the sky. Draw your palms together. Lower your thumbs between your eyebrow. Press into your third eye. Lower your thumbs to your chest. Take a moment to bring awareness to how different your body may feel. Thank yourself for coming to the mat and committing to the practice. You're doing great. Release your hands to your side. Inhale, draw your hands up towards the ceiling. Find length in your lower back and with a straight flat spine, come to a forward fold. Now we're in a heel toe. Our feet apart, mat, about mat distance apart. Have your feet, toes pointing out at a 45 degree angle. And we're gonna come to a malasana, 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 malasana squat. Press your elbows into your inner thighs, bring your palms together, thumbs to your heart, draw your shoulders up and down your spine, collarbones wide, chest reaching out in front of you, up and out in front of you. Now don't just sink in, that's very easy. Activate your bandala, your mula bandala. So you should feel your, for ladies, sink kegels. For men, it's like you're drawing your pelvis, your two pelvis halves together. Find length in your spine, point your tailbone down. Release your hands to the ground. And then let your neck just fall and relax for a second. Get a little neck stretch. Maybe reach your right ear towards your right shoulder. Gently switch and reach your left ear towards your left shoulder. Oh, I just realized my freaking headset's way back there. I hope everyone can hear me. And then bring your hands behind you. Throw your bum to the earth. We're going to do one bridge for a back bend. Draw your heels close to your hamstrings. Make sure your feet are parallel so the outside of your pinky toe, the pinky toe side of your feet should be parallel with the mat. Draw your shoulders underneath your spine. Sorry, draw your shoulders underneath you by pressing your shoulder blades into the mat. Bring your elbows to your sides and press those into the mat. <laughs> Stop! This bit me. Okay, sorry. My cat is frisky. Now press the back of your skull into the mat. Inhale. Exhale, press your heels into the mat. Lift your hips up. And find space across your pelvis. You can clasp your hands together underneath you and scoot your shoulders even more under your back. Make sure your knees aren't flailing apart. You want to keep your muscle energy going towards the center. Press into the floor on all four corners of your feet. 
Lift up. Exhale, place your pumpkin on your hands and forearm. This should feel good. If it doesn't, don't do it. Um, you can bring your hands up underneath you. Stretch your legs out long. Bring your shoulders underneath you. Let your palms face the ceiling. Toes spread. We're just going to do a little shavasana here. Let the practice integrate into your body. No need to think about what you need to do as soon as I say you can get up. Just there's nowhere to go, nowhere to be. Just lie here for a moment in stillness. Express gratitude to yourself. You did it. You made it to the mat. You committed to the practice. You did something really good for yourself today. And a deep inhale together. Open mouth, exhale. Uh, let your bones sink into the earth. Let your skin melt over your skeleton. Unclench your jaw. Relax your brow. Allow your breath to return to normal. Find acceptance for yourself in this quiet space that you've created where you can always return to whenever you feel like you need to. Just focus on the breath. That breath that gives life to you with every inhale and detoxifies your body with every exhale. Begin to blink your eyes open. Wiggle your toes and your hands. Reach your hands up above you. Do a full body stretch. Draw your knees to your chest. Do a little squeeze. Release your knees to the ground, either to the left or the right side, whatever's calling to you. Stop for a moment here. Send love to yourself and someone else that's close to you. Maybe it's your dog, your cat, girlfriend, cousin, mom. Press away from the floor. Come to a comfortable seated position. Press your fingers into the earth on each side of you, grounding yourself. Open your collarbones, shoulders down the spine. Inhale, reach up towards the sky. Take all that energy you just created and capture a little bit between the palms of your hands. And draw it down. Stopping at your third eye, pressing your thumb between your brows, thanking yourself and honoring your intuition. Bring your thumbs to your heart. Express love for yourself. Maybe set a little intention for the rest of your day. Thank you so much for practicing with me. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day and maybe this brought you some energy that you can take with you. Yeah, <laughs> thank you. Namaste. <laughs>
I'll see how it sounds. Obviously, my other microphone's gonna sound better. Um, I have another setup I can try with my laptop out here and the microphone that I like to use for cooking streams, which might sound better. So I could try that next time if you guys prefer me speaking while I practice compared to me doing the voiceover. Um, or we could always just switch it up. I don't know. Let me know in the comments, etc. Hope you have a good day. Shine bright, everyone. <laughs> I sound like Kanye West now. Shine bright like a diamond. All right.